that's new to my channel my name is Del and welcome to all my subscribers welcome back and we're gonna do another video excuse my face but yeah this is actually the aftermath of my third TCA cross uh, I've been healing it for more than a month now I tried putting some faders and exfoliant apparently it doesn't work for my hyperpigmentation probably because it's um, too much you can see a lot but you know guys with the TCA cross that I did I'm pretty happy about the result and whenever I see my face on the silhouette like you know how the lights when the light touches your skin and you can see the silhouette I can see some of my acne scars already flattening so yeah I know I'm gonna do this again in the future but as of now I need to uh, fix my hyperpigmentation so I can film without without this you know I don't need to like put some makeup on and I can feel more comfortable again with my my bare face anyway we're gonna do a spot um, peeling only to the part where I have hyperpigmentation which is just around this area I I put some on my fine lines so we're gonna put something around that area as well one of you uh, told me that I can do a spot peeling and why not rather than peeling my whole face uh, let's just do a spot peeling on the part where I have hyperpigmentation um, most of you are very curious about you know how to get rid of hyperpigmentation um but yeah it's very tricky and uh, there's a lot of um, products in the market that uh, fade hyperpigmentation quickly but yeah for me i think this apl works best anyway i want to show you my face before we peel it so we have the before and after <laughs> photos i don't know how many times should i peel it before it actually cleared out but yeah let's see um on this area i put some tca cross as well because i have deep uh, scar in here and also like I have large pores but now it's you know the, the sizing has decreased and I can see more nicer skin and my pore sizing is already smaller and on this area you can see I have some hyperpigmentation you know it's like I wanted to like you know just be happy because of the acne scars um, improve but because of my hyperpigmentation I can't really appreciate it much but let's see we want to fade it so we can see the actual result of my TCA cross if you want to know about the materials that we are needing for this peeling you can go ahead to my past videos which is how to do a tca peeling which is 25 percent i'm still gonna use the same product this is 25 percent tca serum maybe in the future i will try a different percentage but as of now this is the 25 percent you might be wondering how i store my tca pill because you know some people said once you open it and it turns dark it's already loosening its uh, power so what i did after use it i put it back on the box and i put it 
inside the drawers which is dark so we can preserve some of its ingredients there may be uh, changes about the materials before i use the gauze now i'm gonna use the cotton buds instead of wiping it with gauze so we're gonna do just the spot peeling so we're just gonna put it uh, directly on the hyperpigmentation that's how we do the spot peeling some of you are telling me not to worry about hyperpigmentation which is very true because i was worried before on my my first tca cross but now i'm not worried anymore because i've been doing some research why i develop hyperpigmentation well apparently the culprit is my genes uh, it's because I'm Asian, so um, we cannot avoid to have hyperpigmentation after the TCA cross uh, treatment. So we can only find a solution to get rid of it after. The most important thing is we solve one problem first, which is the acne scars. Anyway, we're gonna go straight ahead to our peeling. I wash my face but we gonna wipe it with alcohol this is 70% alcohol sorry guys <laughs> it's the alcohol usually in my past peeling it healed um, in a one one week time so that's my whole face I don't know how long will this take before we heal it let's see this is new to me as well let's start I'm wearing gloves we just put some Vaseline around the eyes this is a must for me more especially i'm thinking of putting something there and our lips for me this is a very good product it has good effects on my acne scars which uh, flattens my acne scars and then i can't see most of my fine lines and then uh i can see my pores it becomes small so yeah i'm gonna start from this area Put some in here. I have a dark thing in here though. Just put some. And I have a hyperpigmentation, and this is all. It's not yet uh, oxidizing, so we're just gonna continue putting the DCA peel. It's 25%. I know most of you are waiting for the before and after. Yeah, I can't wait to show it to you. But, you know, it's hard to show it to you while I still have pigmentation. Every time I do TCA cross and TCA peel, I become more and more um, confident that I know this product will just make my face better. And I saw lots of good 
reviews and myself I see results which is that I can't see with my past treatments okay so this is a bit um faster yeah it's hot but you know it's um something that i can tolerate and i'm excited to do this pill after my tca cross you wanted to feel it straight away but you can't you need to wait at least a month or so uh, anyway this um frosting will eventually go away but i wanted to show you what's happening after you put the tca pill it will frost they said that's your old skin it's chemical peel so my pain is high but i don't know um my eyes even with onions when i cut onions i am a bit teary as well compared to the tca cross when you put the tca cross you will feel very hot because i think because of the percentage is uh high it's 100 percent but with the peeling um it just gradually you know build up the heat on your face but after like few seconds like now it starts to subside um it's not that um hot anymore yeah i've been listening to you guys because i know i'm not an expert you can see it on my disclaimer that I'm not an expert, but I can only say what is true based on my experience, okay? So if um, people are learning from my experience, then I'm very happy about it. I've been doing a lot of research about this and I've been doing a lot of treatment for the past 10 years, so some are just uh, lasers and skin needling and subsession and this tca cross is the one that i can see that works wonder for my acne scars and also for my skin now my skin is more smoother and my pores is smaller compared to before mostly you know in the past years here in Australia every time the winter comes my face is flaky my face is dry and it's so hard to like when you go outside or when you go to church that you need to put some makeup on I'm lucky now because I do my church online but before it's hard to put makeup when your face is very dry so now I notice even if it's winter now here in Australia I seldom like have dry skin now um, and I think the oil moisturizer suit my face my face is not really like really really oily or really dry now i don't see it anymore so i think i'm doing something really good on my skin i am not really big on skincare but i think as i age i need to have some skincare as well but i'm very minimal with my skincare i only use my oil moisturizer and my sunscreen um my favorite is the la roche Psy sunscreen this i love this baby <laughs> this is my everyday sunscreen and it's very light and even if i go outside uh i'm not worried about my sunscreen because most of the sunscreens that i used in the past they leave me like white marks are very shiny or looks very oily this one doesn't do that so i'm very happy with this 
thanks to Dr. Alvin Lim. <laughs> I've been following him ever since and yeah. So he's from Australia as well but not in Sydney. Anyway, you can see the frosting now starts to subside. Let's put some oil moisturizer. So, yeah. I will have day-to-day -day update with this as well. And, you know, guys, I'm very careful with my face now because as much as possible, I want to show you the accurate um, result on my skin. Our skin is different, you know, so you need to um, try what works on your skin. Once I finish all my oil moisturizer, I'm gonna try and use the coconut oil. I heard a lot of good feedback and it's uh, organic and natural. So same thing, same um, skincare routine, wash it, moisturize it, and sunblock. <laughs> all the time so sunblock is every four hours when i'm indoor but when i go outdoor uh, every two hours application so we know we're still protected anyway we gonna put some sunscreen i've been talking a lot about this sunscreen and yeah this is for me i'm pretty happy with this one this is 50 spf it's not painful anymore you can see mm -mm. it's like um it's a bit tender but it's not that painful anymore so anyway, that's my quick peeling <laughs> vlog. Before I end this video, I want to shout out to some of our few friends. To Grace Manago Luzano, which is my cousin. And to Rochelle Rubia. Actually, we developed uh, our acne scars the same time. So anyway... Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in my next vlog. Bye bye. Have a lovely day.